Today we're in uh, Farndale, North Yorkshire. It's just slightly misty. We're going to go park the car at Low Mill in the car park and then walk up to church houses and do a round. And we're going to have a look at these uh, famous daffodils in Farndale and see what we can make her today. Just coming into Low Mill now. Before we start the walk, we're just going to give you a little shot of the countryside. You know, just a bit cloudy, but you know, we can sort of give you a little look at it. Little farms there uh, nestled away, you know. Hey, you look there, we've got a cock pheasant come up to see us it's the 28th of March today we've just stomped the car and looked over the edge we've got one two three four five six seven little lambs there just uh, just off the edge on road before we start our walk There they go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that. How many lambs have you got round her there? These are, you know, probably a week or ten days old. Not lot. Not very old. No, that's not me mum, she says, that's not me mum. They're looking round there for a feed. There we are, she says, that's mine. Look at that, with little tail wagging there. Well, we'll press on. So just go down to the bottom and head forward past telephone box and you'll see the car park on your right. So at the North York Moors National Park van, just turn left down the side and that'll take you straight into the daffodil walk there. Well, before we start, we've got a couple of pigeons and we've got our daffodils just in front. There's one, two, four pigeons there all together, a pheasant and a big bunch of daffies and uh, it looks like we're in for a good day. As soon as you get through the yeah, gate, straight forward and left. And straight away we get down to the river and on your left hand side, look, we've got the daffies there. You know, we just cross over the bridge. And the walk's just on the right hand side. You can see daffies in between the trees. These are only a tiny daffodil, they stand about nine inch tall and uh, they seem to be pretty exclusive to this valley. I don't know what they're called but uh, we'll go and have a look at a few more. We've got a couple of cock pheasants here just, just above the daffodils. And we'll give you a swing round at this and just just over the water line there. Look. You've got wild garlic and things like that. Hello. a tiny little tiny little weir and we're looking out for dippers kingfishers grey wagtails or anything else we come across and we'll just keep giving you a few shots as we go down just to give you a rough idea 
and then we'll have a look at the other side and see what that looks like and it's uh, it's early morning it's only 10 o'clock but already there's a you know there's a few people about because it's a it's a good day out we're headed towards the uh, daffodil cafe at the far end so you can get yourself a bacon sarnie and there's a pub at the other end we'll have a look we're heading towards church houses as you're walking on your right you'll come across one or two little uh, like wild or big should i say <laughs> wildlife ponds and uh, you know they're full of frog spawn and uh, newts and frogs and everything we hope so and that's just at the side can you see that wriggling and all that little tiny motion there well that is uh, baby frog spawn there but they're in a bit of a pool that's drying out and then just a bit further on if your legs are feeling a bit tired we've got a seat there if you want a bit of a rest or you know just have a look at the uh, the view and uh, Wherever you look, we've got, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dafts all down the side of the river. And, you know, it's just lovely to look at. And we're, you know, the daffies are in in good nick this morning. They really are. And we look in water and swimming on surface with this frog or toad there. Look at that. He's just clung to bank side there. Right, well before we go any further, this is what we've come to, to look at, so we might as well give you a little close-up. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Well, we've a couple of seats down here, and you know, as you get a bit further on, you can see it's all surrounded with daffies. Nice shot there. And you just keep walking forward. Now the walk along the Daffodil Trail is only a mile and a half long, so it's you know it's quite easy. There's so many and so much to see. We're just going to take these are just a tiny few shots. This doesn't give you the true effect of the valley. And as you can see, the daffies are both sides of the path. Everywhere you look, you can't uh, you can't miss them. And even though it's the end of March, we've got a couple of marsh marigolds there. You can see the marigold on your left and the daffies on your right hand side of the picture just below the trees. And you come out into some open spaces and you know the path's very easy to walk. And you can see the hills in the background. And we've got the little tiny river on your left. And that's another nice shot with the water running down the side and the daffodils on your right hand side. And if you look there on the water you can see the reflection of the daffodils. It's crystal clear. And we've got a cock pheasant here. There's plenty of pheasants about here. And you can see them there in the distance. A couple of ducks here. They've gone. And you can see Daffy's there at the other side, look. And then we walk a bit further and we come face to face with a toad, I think. And he's just there, just watching us, raised up on his front legs. Well, you can't get much closer than that. You can see he's not blinking around. Well, they look as if they're enjoying the scent there, look. Got a little couple of partridges there. Can you see them in front of the sheep? There we are. There we are. There's another one there. Like I say, this is lambing time, and we are looking. We're going to give you a look at the other side of the the hill now. And wherever you look, you're going to see pheasants you know because it is breeding season now more or less and we're back on walk again now just you know the the walks full of garlic and uh, 
daffodils. Another, you know, two or three weeks, garlic will be out. I know. There's plenty of people about, and this is only 11 o'clock now. But I mean, you've only got, you know, a few weeks to get these daffodils in. And then they're gone for another year. But it's a nice walk, even if you don't comfort daffodils. And you can hear pheasant in background there. Look. And here we've got, you know, up the side of the... <laughs> you can hear him. Up the side of the tiny little stream. You know, they're everywhere. And we see a sign saying you're only three fields away from the Daffy Cafe. So we'll be stopping there for a, a bacon butty. As you can see, the Daffy's are right down onto the water edge. And at the other side as well. You know, this is a fantastic sight in uh, spring. It really is. And again, we've got the uh, reflection of the daffodils in the water. And as you can see, as it meanders round, reflection on your left and, you know, just give you an idea of what this is like. But say there's so much to film, we can't get it all in. And we're uh, heading towards the cafe now. On the left hand side, there's a big mass of uh, daffodils. And there we are, we've got the Daffy Cafe there, if you want to bake and roll. And we just keep heading forward now. And there's church houses in the distance. We'll take a closer look at the pub when we get up there. We're only about a minute or two away. Well, five minutes at most. And here we've got the Feversham Arms in, and it's a good spot to... Uh, you know, have a lunch and you can turn around and go back after you've been to Daffy um, Cafe or stop here for a meal. But we're going to go a bit further on, we're going around the other side of the valley. So we're going to go around the back of the pub. So we'll just head forward, then turn right in front of that green shed there, I think it's a village hall. Yeah, so we've walked across the back of the pub, but we're just going to give you a quick look while we're here. Tiny bit of park in here as well. So at the side of the green shed, which I think is the village hall, and you can see a bit of parking on the left, we head forward. And then about three or four hundred yards over the bridge, we're going to pick the walk up and head back down the other side of the valley. Just at side at road, as we're walking over the bridge, we had a little fin, she's gone. And then just as you cross over the bridge, on your left hand side you'll see the church and walk up to the church and I think you'll appreciate the view because the daffodils are absolutely covering the place, it's fantastic. We'll just give you a little look. And there's the church. So just a mass of yellow, and this just about sums up Farndale, absolutely fabulous. It's called uh, St Mary's. Well as you can see just in front of the church we've got two seats here and this is absolutely just ablaze with colour but it seems a good spot for a drink. So we're going to we'll have a drink of tea here and just enjoy the view. And this is the view looking from the side, the front of the church and if you see the road at the back that heads up over to Rosedale and that's another fantastic uh, walk with Rosedale chimney but uh, you know for now we'll concentrate on this. Now little Finch has come for a cup of tea with us and a few crumbs if we can and uh, we'll see what we can do for him. We just sat in churchyard now, look. Little Finch here, we feeding him. There he is, look, he's on headstone, he's uh, 
He's he'll be, he'll be down in a sec to. Uh, he's down. And if you look at size of him, it just shows how small the daffies are. You know what I mean? He's tiniest little thing. Thinks a chaffinch. We're feeding him, just sat on the seats there, and he's about five feet in front of us. Back up now on the uh, on the headstone again. He's gone. And there's bees and everything pollinating the uh, the daffodils. He's gone. We've got to. Uh, Male there, and we've got the female on the headstone. I don't know if she's going to come down and join him. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic. They're just four or five feet in front of she's She's back on. She's gone back on. She's a bit nervous, but he's not. He doesn't mind. He. Look at Daffy there. This is how close we just feet off. Look at that. I mean, we've come for daffodils. We've sat in the middle of daffodils and we've got the bird life as well. Can you see her just to left hand side of Edstone there? Look. We think they're a pair. She's a lot more timid than he is, but she's only about 12 feet away. Yeah, she's just on left on that left hand side of Edstone now. <laughs> We've got, got people at the back and the bird at front. That's a great little shot, is that? We've turned left out of the church, coming going slightly uphill, a few hundred yards till we pick our path up on the right hand side to take us back to Low Mill. And as we're walking up the hill. We take a look behind and we'll be taking shots along the valley as we go just to give you an idea of what it's like in North Yorkshire. And I think we can hear a woodpecker in tree. We on way uphill we glance over and look at the church and you can see all the daffodils surrounding it. So just walk up the lane by the old school. There is a bit more park in there. And we're heading towards Bragg Farm, Highwold House. And we'll show you what we can on the way. So we've turned right off the road through the gate and we're going to go over a stile but before we do we think we're going to show you the other side of the valley and just show you where we've been and uh, you can see church houses there look right in front of us and to the right of there the valley goes up there's loads of walks in this area we go over this stile and it's quite a tall stile is that one. Just follow the uh, footpath signs straight through the farm. We're a cock pheasant here Joe, just through past farm look he's he's hiding from us but he's in good nick. We walked up the track till you see a footpath sign on the corner turn right slightly downhill you'll see a, another farm in front of you over this stile and just follow the footpath and there we think we've got a little skylark sat on the wall just before we uh, go over the stile as soon as you pass through that farm you'll see another one a field away straight over that stile and there's a stile at the other side you're walking in front of the farm and you cross in front of another farm it's well signposted and then through the gate at the bottom on your on the far corner right hand corner and it's going downhill and we've got the pheasant on our left he's just feeding in the same field as uh, sheep look just the back of them and they're not bothering him and we've got farmer there look with uh, feed or whatever and sheep are there following him look
sheep are coming up the field because they've seen the seen the farmer there. Look at this pheasant here running, pheasant running in on the right. Oh, there he is. We've got the pheasant and the sheep there, look. Both feeding side by side. He's just pecking away at a bit of. Uh, he's right. He's right in centre, sheep. He is. He's not. Look at that. He's not bothered. Look, they're right up to him now. Look how close they are. One's got a bit of. Look at that. Keep going down the side of the field and uh, through a gate, and then you'll see like. Uh, governor of the field you'll see like a track at the other side just follow the arrows it's easy enough we follow the track for a way and come to high walled house but it's well signpost just keep going we go through the farm and turn right just and then slightly downhill again there's another farm on your left well we're back now at low mill and as you can see there look No, this is suitable for wheelchairs and I think they do provide you with one but I'm not sure. It's a very popular walk is this and uh, the lower se section up to uh, church houses is you know we think it's pretty, pretty easy to navigate in a wheelchair and there's no reason why you shouldn't come with a wheelchair. The higher section obviously from church houses back to no no old mill is just to make it a bigger walk and uh, we hope you've enjoyed our walk in the uh, North York Moors you've been walking with a taxi driver today we're just going home now on the other side at Valley and we thought we'd uh, stop and take a look before we go back to York you know it is a fantastic place to come is this